Hi, welcome back to Sweet Nothing's Crochet's videos. Today we're going to make this lovely belt. This is my Agada belt, Agada belt, uh, which I'd made when, um, on my trip to Portugal. So it has a small little belt clasp on one end. It's got the beautiful, very, very simple pattern for the belt. And then it's got a little strap at the other end that will very neatly loop into this strap here at this end, right? Now my strap was really small and therefore I've done it with this strap here, but I'm going to make it again today. And we're going to do it with a regular belt buckle that you would have seen in the markets. So let's start with this. Uh, pattern repeat stitch count is multiples of 10. So we start by attaching this to the belt, the end of the belt uh, buckle. We start with a slip knot. And then we'll just work 10 single crochet around the belt buckle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slip that back. Those last two didn't come too well. So today's yarn is uh, what we call the polyester purse yarn that we get in India. I'm not sure what yarn you get which is similar. You, I don't think you get a polyester purse yarn anywhere else in the world. However, this yarn is not specific for this pattern. I'm working this with a 3.5 mm crochet hook. Again, this is not specific. You can use any yarn. You can use any cotton and you can use uh, any hook that matches for your particular yarn. It doesn't matter, all right? It's just that this, I had this yarn handy. I love this color and it will match something that I'm going to be wearing shortly. So I'm just making that for it today. Okay. Chain one in turn. We'll work per pattern. DC in the first DC. And in the next three DC. So the DC in the first four DC. Chain two, skip the next two stitches and we'll work, oh my god did I rush off the screen, sorry, double crochet in the last four stitches again. Three and four. So we have four double crochet, we had 10 stitches that we started with, four double crochet, we've skipped two stitches there, we've added a chain two space and then four double crochet. At this point, I'd like to weave in that end bit. All right. Chain one, row two, give me a second, my computer's gone off. All right. So 
So we start double crochet in the first stitch, chain two, you skip the next two stitches, work a double crochet in the next double crochet, two DC in the chain two space, one double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, skip the next two stitches and one double crochet in the last stitch. So we have now a block here and then we've moved the block to the center and we have two blocks there on the side. Chain one and turn. A double crochet in that first stitch. Two double crochet in the chain two space. One double crochet in the next double crochet chain two, skip the next two stitches, double crochet in the next double crochet, two double crochet in the chain two space and one double crochet in that last double crochet. So as you can see row three, row one are the same. And that's basically what your black pattern is. You repeat these two rows, rows two and three, to get your pattern. Let's just do one more row. It's one double crochet in that first stitch. Chain two, skip the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next double crochet. Two double crochet in the chain two space one double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, skip the next two stitches, one double crochet in that last double crochet. Alright, one more repeat for with you, it's a double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochet in the chain two space, one double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, we'll miss next two stitches, double crochet in the next double crochet, two double crochet in the chain two space, and one double crochet at the end. And that's our basic pattern all the way to the end. All right. Now, when we finish this pattern, we'd like to do that shell, right? So the shell is actually really simple. Give me a second. There you go. My computer's playing up today. Give me a minute. So for our corner, what we need to do is this is a shell made of five double crochets worked together and then it has a chain, uh, it has a single crochet in the middle. So there are two ways that you can do that. You can either, uh, depending on how wide you want your belt, you can actually work a hole, you work all the way till the end till you've come, you know, you start all the way from one end and you work till the other end. and then you can work a row of single crochet all the way back down the center. And then basically you need to work your um, five uh, double crochet in every alternate space and you work a single crochet in every alternate stitchy space. See? That's five double crochet next to the stitch and there's a single crochet near the hole. Okay. So how do we do that? So let's just assume that we finished off the whole thing. So just ignore these stitches, all right? You're not gonna be doing those stitches. You're gonna be neatly doing a single crochet all around. 
so you basically are going to work five double crochet in the first space three four five and in the next space we'll do a single crochet and then you'll work five double crochet in the next set of stitches this is along the side so you're going to be working it against the side of the double crochet end and then a single crochet in the next space okay and if you do it really neatly all over the side not in the mess that I have done in this video then you'll have a really neat and beautiful pretty wide belt again I could give you the width of this belt my belt here today is about two and a half inches but it honestly doesn't matter it just depends on what uh, yarn you've used if you use a uh, super fine yarn like your knitting cotton you'd get a smaller belt but look really cute and really neat and if you use a uh, six ply um, or you use some really thick cottons then you're going to get it as wide but it honestly doesn't matter either way it's going to look beautiful enjoy have a creative day and i'll see you soon